Have you ever wondered what insects do in the summertime? I have a friend named Benjamin, and Benjamin loves insects and all kinds of bugs. In fact, Benjamin actually got a really cool big egg for his birthday, and when it hatched, a whole bunch of insects came out, a whole bunch of little tiny praying mantises. A praying mantis is a type of insect, and when those praying mantises got a little bit bigger, my friend Benjamin let them all go outside. I'm wondering what those praying mantises are doing now in the summer. Maybe this book will give us some ideas about what a praying mantis might do in the summertime. This is called My Awesome Summer by P. Mantis. This is a book that pretends that a praying mantis could write a journal of all the things that it does for fun in the summer. Let's see what a praying mantis might do. My Awesome Summer by P. Mantis. May 17th, I was born today. It's a beautiful, sunny spring day. Do you see that little teeny tiny praying mantis? That's what my friend Benjamin's praying mantises look like too. May 18th, it was so crowded in the egg case. Really, really crowded. Me and around 150 praying mantis brothers and sisters. I don't have any wings yet, so I can't fly. Look at all these little praying mantises. This is exactly what it looked like when my friend Benjamin had his egg case that hatched open. May 19th. It's okay that I can't fly. The bush I was born on has aphids all over it. Yum. Soft and delicious. Aphids are a teeny tiny bug that praying mantises eat. May 24th. Some big birds landed near me. I did my cool trick, pretending to be a stick blowing in the wind, and they flew away. That is a cool trick. June 2nd. All the aphids are gone. I'm hungry. I'm growing so fast. I ate one of my brothers. Okay, maybe two. June 4th. I ate another brother. And one of my sisters, too. I grew again. I shed my skin. Whoa. Praying mantises eat other praying mantises when they have to grow a lot and there's no other food around. This praying mantis ate two brothers, then another brother, and then a sister from the same egg case. And then that skin on their body got real tight and it had to shed. It came off so that they could have new skin. June 27th. I still don't have wings, so I walk and jump everywhere. I started to explore the neighborhood. A big animal came sniffing around. I did my cool trick again. You can't see me, I'm a stick. Can you see the praying mantis on this plant? It looks like the dog can't see it. For a pipsqueak, I've got some pretty sharp teeth. My razor arms are super fast, too. A grasshopper hopped next to me. I grabbed him before he could say Jiminy Cricket. July 17th. I grew some more. Shed my skin again. Still can't fly, so more walking, jumping, exploring. July 19th. I ran into one of my brothers. He tried to eat me, so I ate him. July 27th. Sometimes I like to hang out upside down, mostly when I shed my skin, but other times for fun. I'm getting pretty big now. Unlike other insects, I can turn my head to see what's behind me. Hello? July 29th. Praying? Yeah, I'm praying. Praying something tasty comes along that thinks I'm a stick. August 2nd. I grew again. Shed my skin again. I hung upside down to get my old skin off, and I feel a little naked until my new skin hardens. August 9th. Ah, I love the summer. Long, hot days. Cool nights. I like to hide in the shade and eat bugs near the flowers. I chewed the head off a bee. Not my favorite. August 15th. 
Finally, I can fly. I almost got eaten by a bat. I landed on a branch and made myself look like a stick until it flew away. It looks like bats are predators. But that praying mantis knew how to hide. August 25th. I nearly walked into a spider's web. Spiders scare me. This one wanted to eat me. I jumped away as fast as I could. September 5th. Grew again. Shed my skin too. Last one for the summer. I forget. I think it's eight or nine times. September 25th. Fall is here. There's a chill in the air. I'm looking for the perfect branch. Not very hungry. Moving kind of slowly now. Do you notice that the leaves changed colors? That means that it's fall. The weather's getting cooler. This praying mantis might be doing something different now. It's moving a little slower. October 14th. I found it. The bush where I was born. I laid eggs and I put some foam around them. It hardened and made an egg case. Hundreds of praying mantises will be born in the spring. October 17th. I'm going to lay down now and take a long nap. Goodbye. What a fun story. This praying mantis had lots of things to do in the summertime, like eating, shedding its skin, and laying more eggs that will be born in the summer. I hope my friend Benjamin enjoyed this story about praying mantises because he had some praying mantis babies, and maybe now they are roaming around in the summer getting ready to lay their own eggs. I will see you again soon, friends. You can subscribe down below so we can keep reading stories together all summer. Bye-bye.